Imagine this. The ground rumbles beneath your feet. A loud boom echoes across the sky. Then boom! A colossal eruption sends fire and ash miles into the air, blocking out the sun. Massive shockwaves travel across the entire planet multiple times, shattering windows and blowing eardrums. Devastating tsunamis up to 100 feet high travel at 400 plus miles per hour and take out multiple coastal towns and villages. The Earth's rotation and axis shift from the powerful blast. This isn't the scene from a disaster movie. It's what really happens when a supervolcano awakens. And the last time it did, it nearly wiped out humanity. Current geological events are trending towards something catastrophic that many never thought would happen in this lifetime. What if it happens again? How would we survive? Could we survive? Join me as I dive into the terrifying world of Earth's ticking time bombs, the supervolcanoes powerful enough to end life as we know it. And here's the crazy part. We are already seeing the warning signs. Earthquakes are swarming. The ground is rising. The magnetic poles are shifting. And the sun's throwing tantrums with increased solar storms. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of geological events happening all at once. It's no surprise that many think we are in the end days. So today, we're diving into the science. What's actually going on? How to spot the signs and, most importantly, whether or not we should be panicking. Sleeping giants beneath our feet. Okay, so first off, what even is a supervolcano? Because if you're like me, you probably picture a classic volcano. Big mountain, smoke billowing out, lava spewing dramatically, but nope. Supervolcanoes don't look like that. They're more like huge underground magma cauldrons just sitting beneath the surface, waiting to ruin someone's decade. Take Campi Flegri, for example. It's sitting right under Naples, Italy. Yes, that Naples, the one with the pizza. And beneath it, a massive magma pool that's been rising. Scientists have noticed the ground is inflating, which, fun fact, is exactly what happened before its last eruption in 1538. There have been multiple areas of lava intrusion. Then there's Santorini, famous for its stunning blue rooftops and Instagram-worthy sunsets. What they don't put on the postcards? That time 3,600 years ago, when it exploded so violently, it wiped out an entire civilization and sent a tsunami crashing through the Mediterranean. So yeah, Santorini, more than just a honeymoon destination. Due to the style of volcano it is, a caldera, even just large earthquakes could cause a total collapse of the landmass, sending Santorini into the ocean. And Yellowstone, the big one? The supervolcano is so famous, it's basically the Taylor Swift of geological disasters. If it ever erupts, big if. It wouldn't just be a bad day for the US, it would be a bad century for the world. Yellowstone has been waking up there have been large explosions near the tourist areas, including the geysers. It sent rocks, steam, and debris high into the air, sending people running. Scientists are now watching it closer than ever as they've discovered recent changes in land rise and lava intrusion, indicating it may be waking up. And just when you thought you could avoid this problem by staying away from land, we've got Axial Seamount, a volcano nestled on the ocean floor off the U.S. West Coast. Underwater eruptions can cause tsunamis and, well, those don't exactly come with a snooze button. Both the California and Oregon coastlines would be at risk. And you guessed it, it's waking up as well. There seems to be a worldwide synchronization of volcanic and seismic activity that many researchers have never witnessed before. Could it be related to solar activity? The magnetic poles shifting? One thing is clear, it's ramping up in intensity and frequency, making many experts concerned. Earthquake swarms. All right, let's talk about earthquakes. Because recently, volcanoes have been getting really vocal. Yellowstone, US. Over 3,000 quakes in a year. Yeah, that happened. And some swarms lasted weeks. The ground is literally moving, and the lava chambers are changing. Santorini, Greece. Weird upticks in seismic activity. 
Similar swarms happened before its last mega eruption. Thousands of earthquakes in just a month, but some reaching up to magnitude 5 plus. Local geologists and seismologists have also seen land movement across the entire region, including Colombo all the way to Campi Flegri. Many tourists and residents have already left the island, fearing for the worst. The evacuation was prompted by local authorities. Africa's Rift Valley, near Gango in the Congo, has been rumbling. Last time it erupted, lava flowed through a city, and this time, scientists are extra nervous. Canary Islands. La Palma had an earthquake swarm before it erupted in 2021. Proving these swarms aren't just random. They can be the incoming warning of volcanoes. Magma moving underground causes these swarms. Kind of like the Earth's version of indigestion. But here's where things get even weirder. Earth's magnetic poles are moving. So, turns out, the magnetic poles are shifting. Like, actually moving. The North Pole is drifting toward Siberia, and scientists aren't totally sure why. And if you're thinking, well, that's fine, just a little magnetic GPS recalibration, right? Well, maybe not. Add in increased solar storms, which could mess with everything from power grids to satellites, and suddenly, Earth's crust isn't the only thing feeling unstable. Some scientists think these magnetic shifts and increased solar activity might be affecting tectonic movement, which means more earthquakes, more volcanic activity, and potentially more oh no moments. There were viral TikTok videos showing fences and other objects vibrating and shaking violently out in remote areas of the United States. Many attributed it to underground digging. Could this have been from these geological changes? So what happens if a supervolcano erupts? All right, so worst case scenario, one of these blows, what happens? Pyroclastic flows. These are like avalanches of fire and ash moving at 400 miles per hour. It's like getting hit by an 1800 degree wall of rock, incinerating everything in its path. You do not outrun these. Ash clouds. Supervolcanoes throw so much ash into the sky, they can block sunlight for months or even years. That means crops die, temperatures drop, and winter comes. All life on the planet will struggle to survive. Earth's rotation and tilt. Massive geological events have actually shifted Earth's axis before. So yeah, a super eruption might literally wobble the planet and change its rotation and tilt. VEI Index. Here is the full list of volcanic eruptions organized by Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI, from lowest to highest. VEI 2 to 3, small but active eruptions. Axial Seamount, Pacific Ocean. Frequent Submarine Eruptions, VEI 2 to 3. VEI 5, moderate to large eruptions. Mount St. Helens, USA. 1980 eruption, VEI 5. VEI 5 to 6, significant eruptions. Hunga Tonga, Hunga Haapi, Tonga. 2022 eruption, VEI 5 to 6, largest in the 21st century so far. VEI 6, large eruptions. Mount St. Helens, USA. Some past eruptions reached VEI 6. Colombo, Greece. 1650 AD eruption. Krakatoa, Indonesia. 1883 eruption. VEI 7, massive eruptions. Tambora, Indonesia. 1815 eruption, largest eruption in recorded history. Kike Caldera, Japan. 7,200 years ago. Era Caldera, Japan. Akahoya eruption, 7,300 years ago. Tapo, New Zealand, Hatepi eruption, 180 AD. Campi Flegri, Italy, Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, 15,000 years ago. VEI 8, supervolcanic eruptions, largest known. Yellowstone Supervolcano, USA, Huckleberry Ridge eruption, 2.1 million years ago. Mesa Falls eruption, 
1.3 million years ago. Lava Creek eruption 640,000 years ago. Lake Toba, Indonesia. Toba super eruption 74,000 years ago. Tapo, New Zealand. Or Ruanu eruption 26,500 years ago. Campi Flegri, Italy. Campanian Ignimbrite eruption 39,000 years ago. And Long Valley Caldera, USA. Bishop Tuff eruption 760,000 years ago. We can't stop supervolcanoes from erupting, but we can be ready. The next big one might not happen in our lifetime, or it could happen tomorrow. Either way, I'll be here, learning alongside you. Like and subscribe and share this, and I'll see you on the next one.